Let's do this. Hey, you got home late. Yeah, I, um... Randy, this is James Franco and our friend, Kimiko Tan. Hey, Randy. I'm gonna go to the bus station. I think that's for the best. Hey, buddy. Your hair looks nice. Don't try those tricks on me. Oh, boy. Okay, I know that it's been a hard day. I could have had it all, but you had to ruin it with your thinking. Come on, you're a star, you're on top. Somebody bring you some hair. You should kill yourself. <gasps> Good God, Lemon, what is that? This is how I cry now. Ever since you made me get that off-brand eye surgery. Lemon, what have we done to you? Wesley. This is Nurse Jamakaya from Dr. Kaplan's office. So here's the thing. You need to come in today so the doctor can check them teeth, man. Oh, is there something wrong? My checkup isn't for another week. He thinks that tooth might have some bad mojo in it, Jesse. Might you be available to come in around 1.30, me lad? You're going Irish. Okay, 1.30's fine. Cool runnings, man. Bobsled. <gasps> Miss Lemon, I told you, everything was... <laughs> ah, ah, stay away, I will bite you. <laughs> you know, luckily, everybody here is dumb, and you and I are good at lying. <laughs> what are you two lovebirds whispering about? You nothing. just nothing. Jeez, I was just joking. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what I always say? Black light attack! What? Oh boy, that stuff does not wash off. You and Danny, I would have guessed anyone else. Jenna, Sue. All right, come on. So you're a very pretty doggy. Hey, what do you think about Jack? Who, Jackie? He's the best one. I don't know what I would do without him. Yeah, he is pretty great, isn't he? Oh, <gasps> Bon Jovi. Um. No, 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 no. I mean, it's time for bed. It's time for bed. Yeah. And now, an unscheduled reading that I think is appropriate for this lovely romantic occasion. But Onan knew that the offspring would not be his, so whenever he lay with his brother's wife, he spilled his semen on the ground. <laughs> then Zipporah took a flint and cut off her son's foreskin. Oh, come on, Bible, help a lady out. You take a hot dog, <laughs> stuff it with some jack cheese, fold it in a pizza. You got cheesy blasters. And then all the kids say, thanks, Meat Cat. And then Meat Cat flies away on his um skateboard. You asked for it. Good evening, everyone. How y'all doing? Hey, it's your first time doing this? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was filthy thin-lipped hooker night here at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> Wow, okay, I underestimated you. Knock, knock. Who's there, pumpkin? A ferret face skank. <laughs> yep, I see her too. Get a job, hayseed. Are you still talking? You're a one-mouthy bitch. I don't go down to where you work and stop them from milking you. I'm sorry, but that's enough, sir. You're out of line. I'll tell you what's out of line. Your old lady's knockers. Good lord, woman. I wouldn't you with Elmo's Happy birthday, Jack. I got you a card. It's one of those new ones where you can record a message. Test, test, test. This is a test for Jack's card. Wonder Woman! <laughs> Excuse me, how do we record on these things? Whatever, I'll definitely figure it out. Thank you, Lemon, but my true present is that exquisite ensemble. You look like a prison weed dealer. I'm coming back from a singles dodgeball match, okay? Good God. I was talking to you on the phone, wasn't I? What? Give! It up. I figured out your game. Congratulations. Your show is so stupid, I thought you would be too. I can't believe I went through all of this for you. I fought for you, Jaden, and now I'm gonna have to start all over. No, you don't. You're giving me the job no matter what, because your fingerprints are all over my camera. So? So? You said you'd only hire me if I'd let you take pictures of my genitals. Oh, no! What is wrong with them? There, there. Thank you. That was nice. Well, I'd love to stay 
and do this all night, but one of us has to go to the laugh factory. So while we're here, what else do you want to do? Face burn? Bone morph? Mouth peel? No, thank you. I can't. I'm going to be on TV this week. Really? I think you mean radio. No, I don't. What is... What? Why do people keep saying stuff like that? You seem nervous. I, I could give you something for that. But you know what? I'm not supposed to have sex with my patients. <sighs> I wrote that! I'm Liz Lemon! If your man is over 30 and still wears a name tag to work, that's a deal breaker. But not you, Mike! That's not you. Mike, leave my cut out alone. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm gonna do the same thing to your cutout. Oh, wait, you don't have one because you're nobody. Ow! Blanco! Another successful interaction with a man. I spent New Year's Eve with my family, which was actually very special. My cousin Randy, this kid from this rural coal mining town, came out to us. And I think old Liz Lemon had a little something to do with that. Randy's gay, everybody. He's gay. I think everyone knew. No one can know about this. Know about what? Pete's Liz's stealing Liz's uterus money. fell out. Oh, I think I already knew that. Lemon, I'm out of the mood to solve your lady problems or listen to a story about whatever escapee from the island of misfit toys you're currently dating. No, this is a Liz relationship emergency. It's a disaster. Uh, okay, Lemon. What is it? <sighs> okay, ever since I was little. No, faster than that. My whole adult life. No! Oprah says... You have 10 seconds. Okay. Lemon, the world is made by those who control their own destiny. It isn't made by those who don't do. It's made by those who do do, which is what made me the man I am. I do do. Yeah. Grow up, Lemon. The point is I've made my choice, and I'm not looking back, period. Period. The only reason NBC picked up the girly show is because of the flack they got from women's groups after airing the action drama Bitch Hunter. Happy birthday, bitches! Oh, my God. Excuse me, do you have a job, and are you here with someone? Uh, I'm a lawyer, and I'm single. Okay, friend, here's the deal. My name is Liz. I almost got 1,200 on my SATs, and I need a date for this wedding, and I like your head shape. What do you say? I'd love to be your date, Liz. <laughs> I like how forward you are. <laughs> now, may I tell you something? I'm a plushie. Is that a fraternity? Kind of. It means I belong to a group of like-minded people who dress up in mascot costumes. Oh, OK. And have orgies in hotel rooms and state parks. There it is. Our term for intercourse is yiffing. Would you excuse me, please? Oh, come on. I mean, you're not really a doctor. Well, if that's how you feel, then you're not really a patient. And people who aren't patients don't get toys from the treat bucket. But there's a Batman in there! Yeah, and if you wind him up, he swims in the bath. We do business together, and you are my number one priority. Nothing is more important to me than you. I gotta take this. It's Brooke Hogan. What's up, you tall drink of bitch? You're amazing. No, seriously, amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah, you heard me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously. There are other men. Oh, boy. It's not what you think. It's something I need to wear to support my breasts. Here we go. What are you wearing? They're, They're called, called night spanks. spanks. I don't even remember getting up. What am I doing? Your sleepwalking, Liz, is a little understood parasomnial disorder. Oh, oh, no. No. She's not sleepwalking. Oh, my oh. God, I'm sleep eating. You tried to take away your release, Liz, but nature finds a way. Did you learn nothing from Jurassic Park? Why am I making a phone call? I'm 68, baby, What? Okay, I don't mean to be the black guy at the movies, but you better move, girl! Uh-oh. Oh, Liz, you didn't. I ordered a pizza. Oh! Oh! Oh, I don't know she is. Okay, fine. I cheated in my sleep, but Frank folded too because I am not making it up about the cigarettes. Any minute Wait, he's gonna. What are you doing now? No, no, please, no. Oh, God, Liz, you didn't smoke the. Oh. I'm eating it. 
teeth. Well, British people have notoriously bad teeth, so. <laughs> I've never heard that. Really? You've never heard people make jokes about British teeth? None of the Brits I know have a situation with their teeth. Well, it's just a thing people say. Like when they say older women have bread back. What's bread back? The loaf of back fat between a woman's bra and her giant underwear. No, that's not a thing. People don't say that. Not to you, no. Yes, yes, we are doing it. No. no. So, there you go. Case closed. Pete and I are intercoursing each other. Oh. Hi, honey. Liz, I found your wallet in what our children call the big wed car. No, Paula, no. Let me get through this. If this is what Pete needs, I would be willing to welcome you into our lovemaking. No, it's no. Pete, no. I know that I haven't been very sexual since my mother died. No, stop, Paula, stop. Go, Eagles! How did you even get a snowball? Philly rules, cheesesteaks, Bobby Clark, Will Smith, your town sucks. You do not want this argument, Lemon. Boston is the greatest city in the world. Boo. Boston Tea Party, Boston Cream Pie, Boston Rob Mariano birthplace of Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, then he looked around, realized it sucked, and moved to Philadelphia. Oh, did you just whip a battery at me? Mr. Donaghy, I'm sorry. Can we get back to the meeting? Of course. My apologies to our friends uh, from the great city of Los Angeles. <laughs> hey, stop laughing. L.A. rules. Michael Bay, freeways, Legoland. Hey, Liz. Made your mailbox key. So is that all you have to say to me? That's how you apologize? What? What did I do? What do you care? Whatever, Brian. I am over it. Over what? It! Oh, I'm sorry. Is it too much drama? You remind me of my father and my boyfriend. Oh, are you listening to me? Because if you are not, I will put on a wedding dress and jump in front of the subway. Honey, you don't need to tell me how much men suck. Sit down and tell me everything while I make us raspberry mojitos. You're gay? Start from the beginning. What's his boyfriend's name? Astronaut Mike Dexter. I don't need anyone because I can do every single thing that a person in a relationship can. Everything. Even zip up my own dress. You know, there are some things that are actually harder to do with two people, such as monologues. Look. If you really don't have anyone, you can sign a liability release, then you can leave alone. I'll fax it to your office. Great. Thank you for looking out for a sister in a feminist way. Not because you're black. Although it doesn't matter because I'm black too. Nope, you're gonna meet me. No, I'm. Hello. Okay, as a single woman, would you be more inclined to buy a new microwave if it could be programmed to ask you about your day? Before you answer, consider your loneliness. I'm hanging up now. Would you like to yell at the moon with Buzz Aldrin? Yes, please. I own you! You dumb moon! I walked on your face! Don't you know it's day, idiot? I mean, if this works, my life will be totally different. <sighs> I have to go back into space, Liz. I hope you enjoyed the kissing followed by my genuine interest in that TV dance competition. Bye, astronaut Mike Dexter. <sighs> Liz, snap out of it. Jenna's locked herself in her dressing room. What? No, go away. This is my fantasy, Pete. I knew it. You're blonde in your fantasies. It looks terrible. Everyone settle. And action. It's not just about the new cast member. When you always put the show ahead of me, it makes me feel like we're growing apart. Jenna, you're my friend, no matter what. I will always look after you. That's not going to change. Oh, Liz, thank you for giving me the hotter porn lady. OK, we should get out of here. Yeah, we should. Oh, and not to add to your problems, but Paula read your book. Sorry, I forgot you'd be home now, Brian! Elizabeth, I know you're in there. Oh, no. It's my crazy black boyfriend, astronaut Mike Dexter. Better not be with the man, even if he's gay. 
Mike, no, I don't even know why I'm letting you in when you're in this unreasonable state. Don't get angry and jealous, even though Brian is the one who convinced me to move on. I'm gonna be coming by all the time, getting jealous, taking things out of context. That dude, Brian, would be happier moving out. Okay, everybody just calm down. I feel angry, like Warren Moon must have felt back in 1995. As I have told you many times during our relationship, no one gets that reference. Oh, Lord! <laughs> NYPD, stay on the ground! A gay hipster cop. You're an interesting guy, Brian. I mean, I'm actually jealous of you. You've got stability, a great marriage, devoted kids. You know what I have? A Sims family that keeps getting murdered. So quit whining and be grateful. I am lucky. Thanks, Liz Lemon. You're welcome, Trey. And you know what? One day you will have what I have because you're an amazing, strong, intelligent woman like Hillary from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Thank you. That's a very good pep talk. Oh, yeah! I'm sorry. I was still riding the vibe from earlier. Wait, your Ed is Buzz Aldrin? Yeah, but I always called him Ed because our town had, like, five Buzzes. You could have married Buzz Aldrin? You should regret that, Mom. You should have followed him. Laura Linney could have played you in the HBO original movie Moon Wives. This is for love. It's like that brilliant film, uh, Notting Hill. Mm. I'm British and charming, and she's got certain angles that work for her. Really? Oh, my God, what are you doing here? We knew you'd need a ride home. What do you mean, we? Can't leave without a ride, dummy. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, you have some dried blood on your teeth. You're here. You're all here because you didn't want me to be alone today. Oh, Floyd. I still think every day about what would have happened if I had gone to Cleveland with you. And even you, Dennis. Watching the color purple drunk with you was one of the funnest nights of my life. Drew, so handsome. So, so stupid. Oh, this carp sandwich is not agreeing with my worldview. Hello there, folks. How y'all doing on this fine October? We have reservations under Donaghy and Lemon. We need keys. Are y'all from New York? Yes, how can you tell? New York people, always in a real big... Hurry, yeah. No, it's not because we're from New York. We're all the same sandwiches. Y'all have a beagle with you? Just give us our rooms. I'll have that party tonight, and it'll be fun. And you'll all see that I'm fun. So screw both of you, and screw everybody out here. Liz Lemon is having a party. And there ain't no party like a Liz Lemon party, because a Liz Lemon party is mandatory. Auditioning is hard. So much rejection. Elizabeth Lemon, I am represented by Suzanne's B-plus talent. My carpets need a deep clean. Next! And then you call your mom and tell her it went great and you've got a really good feeling about this year. God, are you doing this to me? Because I took that blind guy's hot dog. <coughs> Who was at the door? Uh, you probably know him as Hick at the reception desk. But his name is Travis Hogel and uh, he brought you something for your stomach. What is this? Peppy Biz Milk? Why is everything a little different here? I hate it. I, mean, I don't have time to talk about what you look like right now. That's how urgent this is. I need you to not put on your judgmental face when I tell you the following. I slept with Nancy. Fight it off, Lemon. Oh, what were you thinking? Uh, OK, Tracy Sr., let's see what you've got. Uh. <laughs> Party, Liz. Everybody take some cupcakes! Ah. Good morning. Is that glitter? Oh my god, did you go out last night after I won the sleeping contest? I forgot to wash my face, didn't I? I meant to do it at the club, but when I got into the bathroom, everything started up again. What do you wish you'd known on your first day here? Oh, well, don't eat prop food. They spray something on it that messes you up. It's all happening! <laughs> You got a haircut. Oh, actually, I got three haircuts. The first two made me look nuts. <laughs> hey, do I say the word camera weird? Camera. Camera. 
camera roll. Beth, I hope it wasn't awkward for you when Tracy brought up my wedding. Why would it be awkward? Because of our sexual past. Leave it open. I'd feel safer. Oh, fine. You can stay with me. But it's stuff like this that makes me eat things like this. Thanks, Liz. Oh, I'd like to pre-apologize for clogging your tub, sink, and toilet. <sighs> okay, Lemon, step in front of the high-def camera. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> no, no high-def. Uh, because of the camera, the uh, gobos are really moraying, right, Pete? Please step away! What is this? This is your zero dollars present. Do, 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 my friend is Jack. If you like his necktie, pat him on the back. Nope, never mind. Not your present. Hey, how did your dodgeball thing go? Did you meet anyone? Not really. I mean, there was one okay guy. Eat it, bitch! What is wrong with you? He was flirting. Did you ever even talk to him? I yelled at him about a rule violation. Oh.